Hi, I'm Rhonda Buss, and although you can't see my face, I, I, I am here. Um, actually, I had to come up with a method for my camera because I wanted to be able to see what I was doing. And um, believe it or not, this thing is, my, my uh, tripod is stuck into my bra. So if it moves around a little bit, I, I hope it won't be too distracting. I, I don't think it will. I gave it a test run. But hey, you do what you have to do to make it work. So the last time I left you, uh, of course, we're working on the Islander Easy V Express Top, and it has the lovely uh, draped front neckline. So the last time I left you, we talked a little bit about the nuances of the pattern, um, and I had also told you that it was imperative that you um, stay stitch the neckline. You can see here that this has been stay stitched and it's clipped and this is on both sides of the front um, along the shoulders and the back neck this is going to be the back neck too because in a minute you're going to see how this is going to fold over and how we're going to sew that um, the other thing we talked about the uh, back neck pleats and you can see here my my pleats is just just a smidge off but eh, close enough and um, anyway so the pleats have been pressed in and the center back seam has been sewn remember your seam allowances are 3 8 of an inch and the other thing we talked about in our last video as well was stay doing the uh, stay in the shoulders which is a wonderful thing to do because um, if you're like me and you've hung something up, you maybe have had a situation where the actual the shoulders have actually stretched out. So this is, let me show you. And this fabric stretches this way, stretches this way. Excuse me, I rocked the camera. Sorry about that. And um, but here you can see no movement whatsoever. So I would suggest getting some of this. It comes in two colors, black and white, and it's the Design Plus Stay Tape. You'll love it. Um, it's great to use anywhere where you have a seam, especially with a knit, that you have a seam that you don't want it to stretch. It also works well as um, like a nice little strip of interfacing. Um, in another video, I'll tell you, I'll show you a, a nice little trick in using this. Um, anyway, so as you can see. I did do my I stitched my my two fronts together at center back I did the stay stitching on both sides of the neckline of the front two pattern pieces and I have sewn my neckline my back neckline this is the back of my top and I've sewn it together here around the neckline and then down the shoulders so what you've all been waiting for is the actual burrito method it's really simple it's something that is done in the industry all the time because of course you know they're all about saving time and um, so and yet having things finish nicely of course you could always finish the neckline off by hand but if you don't have to why do it is my philosophy um, Hey, I love handwork as much as the next person, but especially for something like this, it's going to look so much nicer and be so much more professional. So I've turned it to the, with my right side up. So there are my two fronts. This is my back. And I'm literally, bring it up a little so you can see. So here at the bottom, I'm just going to fold it up. Remember the right side is facing up. So I'm just going to roll this. And now you're going to see why I said it was so important that you use a lightweight knit for this uh, garment. Sorry about that, I moved. Uh, here we go, we we'll keep rolling, 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 rolling. Continue to roll until the neckline that we sewed is now showing. So you can see it, it almost wants to do it on its own because you see how it wants to roll toward the other edge. Now, 
I have actually worked in the industry. I worked in the industry as a designer. So I know a number of little tricks that they do. And um, I remember the first time I saw someone do this, I thought, oh my goodness, there's no way this is gonna work. But it does. So you just wanna match this up. Now in the pattern, on the, in the pattern instructions, they have you so um because this is the this is the facing the fold back facing um they have you do this all in one step i think it's a little less confusing if you don't now so remember where we clipped we're going to sew at this point from here match up your center back and then sew to this other clip at the edge of the neckline. So as you can see, everything is sandwiched. It's all rolled like a burrito into this little area here. And I know in your mind it can seem that, well, how is this all going to turn right side out? Well, let me go sew it and I'll be right back and show you and we'll pull it all apart. Okay, I'm back. I've had I've sewn the neckline at center back. I just wanted to show you this is the dress that I did the first uh, piece that I did from the pattern and of course I made it into a dress and I just wanted to show you the neckline so you can get an idea of how the neckline will be when it's finished. So you can see it's just very nicely finished on the inside. Um, the seam is are sewn and the fold back facing so you can see it actually turns the corner here and the fold back facing is sewn to the shoulder seam okay so now um, so I've sewn my neckline seam together point to point uh, here let's see I'll show you on this side uh, my facing my fold back facing was the corner was turned and it was sewn to the edge. Now I have to apologize. I'm a bad girl. I forgot to finish off the edge of my fold back facing. Shame on me. So, <laughs> um, knowing me, I'll probably go back and do it anyway. So, um, oh, and actually before I, you turn this, this is a good time. So this should have been finished prior to me sewing this, of course. And before you turn this, this is a good time to go and surge that seam line or that seam allowance, the shoulder seam allowance, if you would like to have it finished. Um, now, like with this, I used a bamboo knit and it's not gonna go anywhere, it's not going to ravel, but you know, if you have a serger and you can, it's always a nice thing to do to finish your seam line so our seam allowance so so here we still have it it's in that nice little rolled up state and now we will watch the magic happen so you just want to pull it out and really and truly this is first of all the blouse is so easy to make but um now if you'll see here, my fronts, so I just wanna show you this real quick before we go any further. So here's the back, and I've pulled that out, but you can see I have two fronts on one side. It's not gonna be a problem, we'll just keep pulling, and that other front is going to come right out. And the reason that we're able to do this is because the top has not been sewn at the uh, side seams yet, so we have three pieces that can believe it or not uh, which you're just you're going to believe it now they can move around and we can actually then i'll show you so now the neckline is finished you can see the corner i turned the corner i turned over here and the neckline is done so at this point I just need to sew my, I, I'm going to press this a little bit here on the shoulder seams and make sure everything is nice. And I might even check, looks like I might have a little 
dimple there. But anyway, basically at this point, you're going to sew the center front seam. Um, I would, at this point, I would actually put my sleeves in first, uh, put the sleeve in, sew the center front seam, sew your side seams. So then when in sewing your side, you know, if you've put the sleeve on first, then when you sew the side seam, it's just that one continuous seam from the hem of the top all the way to the hem of the sleeve. And then other than hemming it, you're done. So it really is super, super fast. Um, if you have any questions, please ask me. But you can see it's, like I said, it's, it's really quite easily done. It looks great on the inside. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful finish on the inside. So the inside looks just as nice as the out. And um, I hope you enjoy giving it a try. Thanks for coming by.